Hey, Desmond Du here from No Sleep Creative. Today we're going to continue on how spreadsheet plays a role in automation, specifically on different techniques of splitting data and a little bit about combining text using Google Sheets formula. If you're new to Google Sheets, please check out my Spreadsheet 101 tutorial and my previous tutorial on how automation works in After Effects. The links are in the description below. So let's begin. So just to clarify one thing, I pronounce this word as data because I'm from Singapore and I grew up with uh, British English. And I think for my American friends, uh, you guys pronounce it as uh, data, but I'm just gonna say it as uh, I learned it, as data. All right, so anyway, let's begin. Uh, so we have the data set from our previous tutorial. So these are the voice cast, the characters and the voice cast of the series Adventure Time, right? Today we're gonna focus on splitting for, uh, first and last name and also dealing with middle names as well. So we don't need the characters. Uh, we're just gonna right click on column A and then hide the column. So the first way of splitting text into columns is to, first of all, I'm gonna copy this data set over here, Command C and paste in column D. Um, so what we can do is go to data, split text to column, and then we can select the separator space. So everything is separated, but we do have like, uh, we do need to look out for uh, people with uh, middle names because what if we just want two cells, two columns only. So we gotta find a way to just squeeze Bradley Baker together automatically. Okay, so and was, and one and another, another thing is that uh, I like to have my data. I like to work, work in a non-destructive way. Uh, by that I mean having my source data in one column and then just uh, splitting the data out uh, in other column uh, using Google Sheets formula because. Uh, that because I might be receiving data from my project manager as I do a project for, uh, when I do an automation project. So I don't really like to do this where I split, I copy the data and split text a column. All right. Uh, so let's move on. I'm going to hide, select this, uh, this four columns and right click and hide columns. So the second way of splitting, uh, splitting text is using a Google Sheets formula. We can type a Google Sheet formula by typing equals split. And you can see, we can already see uh, what's the function of this uh, formula. And then if you uh, type a parenthesis, you can see the syntax. So it, we have to select the text followed by the separator, the text, comma, and the separator or the delimiter has to be in double quotes. So the separator is a space and I don't even need to close the, the end parenthesis. I just need to hit return and uh, Google Sheets will uh, close it for me. See, All right? And now I can copy the rest of the formula by dragging the bottom right hand corner of the cell. All right, this is called uh, relative cell referencing, but this can be a little bit handful if I have to do it manually for like rows, uh, if I have like hundreds of uh, rows to fill, right? So the easy way is to use this thing called an array formula. I'm gonna undo whatever I did. So if I were to type array formula, what array formula does is that it applies the, the formula I put within to my range. So instead of splitting one cell, I'm splitting all the other cells into uh, their individual uh, columns. See, and two things. And two things to note again: we still need to uh, deal with the middle name, and we get this a very ugly error message. So to do to get get around that, all we need to do is type in if error parentheses. And then if you scroll down, you can see it's gone. Basically the if error functions, if you can, if you double click or highlight the, the function or the formula, you can see uh, the definition and what it does. Uh, right now it's selecting uh, the if, the array formula, but if you click on the if error, so what if error does is that if there's an error, don't do anything, right? Just give me the first result. Uh, so very nifty. Uh, but that doesn't de help us with our middle name situation. So let's move on, right? Hopefully you just have first people with first name, last name, like just two words, right? For your automation project. I'm gonna hide these columns and we're gonna move on to using uh, length, using, uh, we're gonna extract parts of our string from our cell to get our first and last name, right? So the formula we're gonna use is called left. So left, basically extracts the number of characters, uh, number of characters that you specify from, from the cell, right? From the left hand side. So if I select B2, Jeremy Shada, and I put in five, I'm just gonna get Jerome, okay? 
So I need to extract like seven to get Jeremy. Uh, so to do, but we can possibly do it empty, do it manually for all the cells. That's why we have the formulas. So we gotta find like where to, where to, uh, where's the first word? Well, we how we separate words is using space, right? So we need to find where the space is, where which place, where's the character placement, uh, in in the cell, like where which character number. So in for the space, it's uh it's seven. Space is the number seven character in this cell. So we gotta find the space, right? So double quote, space, comma, and then the cell. So it will give me seven. So if I just if I just highlight my find, you can see the output is seven. And then I can just copy it down, right? See, it works. It's just extracting the first thing. And again, I'm just gonna do if error and array formula just to copy every, to, to apply to every other cell. So B2, 2B, make sure it's a range. And then it's gonna give an error message because we have existing data, right? So this uh, uh, this array result can, cannot write over. So once I delete this uh, data input, you can see it automatically fill itself, right? And yeah, so let's work on uh, getting the last and middle name. So we can actually copy this formula uh, and then we can paste it in. So, I mean, naturally you'll think that I'm gonna use right instead of left and we're gonna grab the back, but it doesn't work like that because uh, we're just, we're grabbing seven characters from the right for Jeremy Shada, which just doesn't make sense. We need to grab the last five character. So to do so, since we already know like how many characters we know where the space is, right? We just need to do it reverse. We need to find the length of the, the number of characters in the cell, right? And so let the function len will give you, you know, the length of the string. So it's going to give us, uh, make sure it's a range length, right? It's going to give us 12 for the first one. And we just need to minus what we, the, what we found, where, where the character number is, where the space character is. So we're basically reversing it. And there you go. We can see D and Bradley Baker. And that's, and that is done. So that was a little bit handful, uh, that formula. Uh, and so, but I usually use, what I'm going to go through now is uh, what I usually use. I use regular expressions. Uh, regular expressions is basically, it's not the expression that you use in After Effects, though it can be imp implemented. Uh, it's big, regular expression is a sequence of character that defines a search pattern. Uh, so a search pattern for text, right? Uh, they are, they're called regex for sure. And I won't go too much into it this time in this tutorial, but that's something I'll cover in my next tutorial. So look out for that. Uh, so regular expression, so just to repeat, regular expression allows us to define, create a search pattern, just like a, you know, when we're searching something in Google. So with us three types of regular regular expression functions, match, extract, and replace. I usually use extract. So all we need to do is select the text that we want, right? B2, and then create a search pattern, which is our regular expression. It has to be in double quotes. And the the regular expressions, so we I have to, I'm searching for words, right? So I'm searching for words and I need to type in backslash W. It's a word character. This basically means a word character. Uh, and then I, I can put in an asterisk. An asterisk is a quantifier. So it's going to say like for just find a word character for unlimited times and stop. So the, the space, it stops at the space. Okay. I know it's very confusing. Just bear with me. I'm just giving you guys an, an overview of regular expression. And uh, that's it. That's all. The ex that's all you need to type in. And I'm just gonna do if error as usual, array formula, and then make change it to a range. And then finally, so that extract the order first name. And then for the last last and middle name, all I have to do is to subtract what I found with what I uh, with my source data. Right? If I got a first name ready. All I need to do is just grab the last name or grab whatever is left. And I can do so by type using the regular replace function. So I'm going to select the text 
And the regular expressions that I'm going to replace is actually, I can actually select this cell and replace it with nothing. And there you go. We get, we get, uh, Jeremy Shada's last name. Uh, but here's the thing. We have this, uh, leading space over here, right? So what we need to do when we use this uh, regular expression replace, we need to trim it. When you trim it, it removes space, uh, any extraneous white space. So, and then let's do if error array formula. Okay. And let's change it to B2 to B and O2 to O. And I need to delete all my existing data. And ta-da, there you go. We have D Bradley Baker over here. D and Bradley Baker separated into uh, two individual columns. And, uh, and you might think that, you know, it seems really complicated uh, using Google Sheets formula, but here's the thing. The only thing that's doing the work is the regular extraction, uh, reg, regex extract. The rest is if errors, just to make sure we don't have any error message and the array formula just simply applies it to the rest of uh, the rest of the cells that we selected, right? So it's not very complicated uh, when you break it down like that. Okay, so now we're going to cover how to combine text in Google Sheets. In my previous tutorial, I have this set up if I change the, the name of the cell right, of my header row to something like lower third, the rest of my cell will actually reflect the changes for me. So we're going to learn how to create this setup. Uh, so let's open up a new new tab, right? So I have my data, the voice cast, to combine text. We can type equals, select the header row, and then we're going to type in uh, the ampersand symbol and then select the cell that we want to combine. So this is just directly combining them. To add an underscore in between them, I need to put a double quote underscore and then remember to put an ampersand to combine them all. Now I need to replace all the white spaces with underscore. So I need to use this substitute formula. All right, so substitute, right? Text to search for, which is Jeremy Shada. And I'm searching for this blank space and replacing it with an underscore. So A2 comma blank and on in double quotes and then double quotes again, underscore and hit return. And there we go. And we're going to use an array formula to apply to the rest of the cell. So A2 to A. Cool. And as you can, but then here's the thing, we get like, even though this is empty, we're still getting results. So this is unpleasant to look at and also not effective. We want this to be blank. I mean, if this cell is blank, uh, the rest, my results should be blank as well. So we got to use an if statement. So we're going to type in if, right? We got to check if the cell is blank using this formula called is blank. So we're going to check if A2 to a2 to A is blank because we're using a array formula. We're doing a range, right? Comma. Uh, so the value, if it's true, if it's blank, do nothing. So I'm not going to type anything in and just type a comma. And then basically, if it's false, it's just going to do this. It's going to do what we want. So we're going to scroll down and yep, there you go. No results. And then uh, if we want to have, have it apply to other cells as well, let's just say I have... I have to I have to name it, I have multiple columns that I need to rename it to based on the header row, right? We gotta modify this uh, uh, this formula a bit, all to do absolute referencing, right? So we gotta add a dollar sign for checking the blanks, whether the cells are blank, and also uh, what we're substituting for, right? And we we don't need we can leave this B one to be the same because there'll be a relative cell reference. So if I just copy it over, see, it's just gonna change it for me. I still have my absolute referencing of A, the range A, uh, the range in column A, right? So this could be lower third, and this could be title cards, and you can go on to copy it like that, right? So maybe this would be, uh, let's see, what would this be? Uh, let's call it animation. And there we go. That's how you combine text in uh, Google Sheets using some formulas. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more.
You can also find me on Instagram at DesmondDu to see the stuff I worked on. Do leave a comment below for what you would like to see next or what you learn. Alright, I'll see you next time.